part two. Here we go. Uh, SmackDown for August fourteenth, two thousand nine. Um, SmackDown was a, was a, a pretty good show uh, this week. Also, uh, we do see that Jeff Hardy will be uh, going to SummerSlam uh, to fight CM Punk for the World Heavyweight Title. Um, we uh, we open that with the the CM Punk basically saying that uh, Jeff Hardy won't make it to SummerSlam and all that, and that's when we have Teddy Long come out uh, and he says Hardy will be on the show and Hardy comes out. And says he'll be at the pay-per-view, basically. Um, we do have uh, a, a match set for the evening. Uh, Teddy Long gets a call from Vince McMahon, um, which says uh, Jeff Hardy will be in action against the Hart Dynasty. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, Dolph Ziggler uh, versus Finley. Uh, with the low help from Mike Knox, it looks like we're going to be getting a Mike Knox versus Finley feud. Um, but with a little help from Mike Knox, Dolph Ziggler defeats Finley uh, in a in a pretty good matchup here. Um, the the main thing is I think it was to get Dolph Ziggler over still uh, to continue to push him uh, and whatnot. Uh, so it it did that and it also helped set up uh, Mike Knox versus Finley. And we also got Mike Knox on the mic, uh, which was a little interesting. Uh, all right, Mike skills for for what they were trying to accomplish. Uh, I think it got over really well with the crowd uh, and helped to get Mike Knox uh, a lot of heat uh, with the crowd. So um, we have uh, uh, segments throughout the evening of Kane torturing Ranjan Singh. And really the, the segments, um, Kali found Ranjan Singh and, and Kane just beat him up with a pipe. Uh, I, I really, it, it, didn't, it didn't work as well as I think they were wanting it to. Um, we do find out that Ranjan Singh is Kali's brother, uh, his brother, uh, on, as far as storylines go, so could we this be helping see a return of The Undertaker? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Um, next match we have a CM Punk, uh, getting his, his victory over John Morrison finally, uh, and once again, another, uh, a great match from these two. I'm, I'm really looking forward to to hopefully seeing these two feud for the title here soon, um, especially if Jeff Hardy does not re-sign with the company. Um, everybody knows I'm a big John Morrison fan, uh, CM Punk. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm getting uh, warmed up to the C heel CM Punk, uh, and I, I really would like to see these two feud for the World Heavyweight title. Um, when they're feuding for the ECW title, the, their, their matches were all right, but not as good caliber uh, as they were here in the past few weeks. Uh, so, CM Punk getting his victory over John Morrison uh, this week on SmackDown. Uh, Melina defeats Layla in a, in a quick match. Basically, uh, the main thing is Michelle McCool is going to be back. Uh, and that was the message Melina was sending to Michelle McCool uh, as she returns next week. Uh, Big Show versus JTG is, is up next. Um, mainly, it was JTG getting his butt kicked by Big Show. Uh, he loses with the uh, the uh, camel clutch that uh, or colossal. I'm calling it camel clutch. I don't care if it's the big show or not. It's the camel clutch, not colossal clutch. Um, he beats JTG with the camel clutch and uh, basically helping build this this heat toward the their tag team feud uh, coming up at SummerSlam here uh, on August 23rd, which is when I am back in the dorms. Uh, so I will hopefully be watching. I am making the video from my new dorm, and I'll, I'll try to give you a tour of that uh, as soon as that happens. But anyway, uh, Big Show versus JTG accomplished what it was supposed to. Um, Jeff Hardy versus Hart Dynasty. You could tell Jeff was moving slowly, selling the injuries from last week. Um, he was doing that earlier uh, in the night with that CM Punk promo. Uh, and, it, and it really, uh, I think... That's the reason the Hart Dynasty won, uh, it, it, as far as storylines goes, because Jeff Hardy wasn't at his 100%. Um, and they, they pushed it really hard, especially when Jeff went to do the Whisper in the Wind, and it got reversed. He, he didn't do it as, as quick as they said. Um, Teddy, Teddy, uh, sorry, Tyson, I, I don't know why I want to call him Teddy, Tyson, uh, gets the pin over Jeff Hardy uh, after uh, the, the new and improved heart attack uh, by, by uh, D.H. Smith and, uh, and uh, David Hart Smith and, and Tyson Kidd. Uh, this was actually a pretty good match overall. I think if I had to give a match a match tonight, it would probably be 
uh, a tie between it and CM Punk versus John Morrison once again. Um, the main thing to take from this is CM Punk comes out, him and the Hart Dynasty are beating down uh, Jeff Hardy. Uh, John Morrison comes out to make the save. He starts getting beat down. Here comes Matt Hardy, uh, which sets up our, our, I guess, main event for next week. The Hart Dynasty with CM Punk versus John Morrison, uh, Jeff Hardy, and Matt Hardy. So, uh, kind of looking forward to that. But overall, this week, TNA Impact was a stronger show uh, by far this week. And, and that's saying a lot for TNA. Uh, I want to I want to give props and, and credit where it's due. TNA, kudos to you guys this week. Uh, great job on, on the, the show. Uh, let me know what you thought of SmackDown and Impact this week. Um, post them in the comments below. If you like what you're watching, go ahead and hit that yellow button up there and subscribe to my channel. Uh, and uh, as always, I've got the Q&A questions. I've got, uh, once again... Eight questions so far uh, this week, uh, and I've got I've actually got some some more good ones because uh, Arnie we hardly knew you Bobby and Callum they sent me one in, um, Phenom eighty eight oh nine Kingpin eighty eight and Adam from Facebook all sent me other uh, questions again this week. Uh, Adams want me to check out a website it's PWI five hundred uh, and let me want to give my thoughts on that. Uh, and Captain Phenomenal gave me a couple good questions this week. So uh, if you do have any questions, shoot them my way in the inbox. Uh, to to uh, here or if it's on Facebook or MySpace or whatever, uh, just shoot me a direct message or a message that way uh, with your questions, and I will get them answered hopefully next week. Uh, I think I'm going to designate Tuesday my Q and A day uh, instead of doing an ECW review, unless of course uh, ECW is, is uh, worth reviewing. So that being said, uh, you guys take it easy, have a great night, and peace out.